youtube tuesday from barnabas junction brought to you in association with the model railway youtube community group um ah mrycg connecting the model railway community together you can find us on facebook instagram twitter and youtube just search for um ah mrycg Hello everybody, hello, 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 welcome to the next episode of YouTube Tuesday, thank you all for joining me, hope you are all well and had a good weekend, um, been a bit of a miserable bank holiday weekend hasn't it for many of us, uh, just checking things, uh, yep, so starting off, there we go, I'll just put that full screen for you, so starting off with the show, um, a big thank you obviously to all channel members for supporting the channel, for, to, uh, for it to achieve what it is today, um, links to all of channel members are in the description below, as always, please do check them out, I highly support um, you guys, and you, do guys, you do guys do highly support me, thank you very much for being channel supporters, but for those that are channel members, um, there are some big developments coming for you guys. There are also some developments coming for the uh, subscribers. It is free to subscribe, obviously. That will be um, let know to you guys very soon in the coming weeks. But for you channel members, there is some changes coming for the better and something very, 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 very good for you channel members um definitely coming very soon more about that will be coming up in a channel members only live stream soon um when i've got it sorted for you but for those that are channel members thank you very much for your continued support for the channel and helping it to develop into what it is today um with um your channel memberships so yes, the links to all the channel members are can be found in the description below of all the videos of this series. So thank you to all of those. Please do take a moment to go and check them out. There are certainly some there that for everybody's um, like, um, era, uh, style, and uh, whether you model maybe in European, UK, or overseas as in american canadian that sort of stuff so please do go check them out and uh, when you do subscribe to them 
they will appreciate your subscription and also mention uh, on when you do subscribe that you've uh, subscribing due to hearing about them here on Barnabas Junction. Right. Um, right. So hello. Welcome. Welcome. Um, first of all, apologies for last week. Um, I did put a post out saying that I wasn't, I was feeling unwell. I was a bit feeling a bit run down, a bit uh, down in the dumps kind of as well. And I really, really wasn't in a position to offer a great show for you last week. So a huge apologies. Uh, I am feeling so much, much better this week and I have been busy. So um, I'll briefly show you what I've been up to um, in a moment. Um, but obviously the main thing that uh, this particular episode is all about a decoder to be fitted into class 68. And I'll just um, bring that up for you on screen right now. So hopefully if I choose the right camera. Nope, wrong camera. Ah, I've given the secret away about what I've been doing. So yeah, we've got the right camera. There it is. It is the TPE class 68 is going to have a voice given to it. Now, some of you might say, um, but you've already done one. Yes, I did. Um, but that wasn't for me. That was for Sparky 10707. Um, he asked me to uh, buy him a TPE 68 and a sound decoder, fit it, do a little video of it, and then send it over to him. And he's very, very grateful and loves it. So, uh, yeah, if you haven't seen that little bit of a snippet video I did a few months, about two months ago now, I think it was, go check it out uh, later on after the show. So tonight, we're going to be fitting this into this one. Um, so, fingers crossed, it is actually very easy. Um, I've not tested whether the decoder works at all. So this is fresh out the box to go into that locomotive. So that is coming up in a moment. Now, um, what I've the new feature for the show is um, the modeler's moment. Now, if you remember, I have stated that um, anyone is welcome to send over to me um, a bunch of photographs or short video clips of their model railway and. I will feature it each week. I will feature one that gets sent to me each week um, for displaying on this show. So it, it's kind of is going to go with the title of Modeler's Moment. So that's what I'm calling it at the moment. So fingers crossed, all will be well. And I'll, I've got the next one up ready to show you. Um, but I've got a few other bits and bobs also to show you tonight. And we'll get across to those in a moment. So tonight, um, in fact, I need to get information up on my phone. Uh, tonight was sent in after it received a shout out from um, one of the chaps from the WWS stream. Um, if you remember rightly, not last week, obviously, because we weren't on. The week before, um, we had Martin. We had Craig and we also had Sam um, of WWS about their competition. And one of the guys chose a um, channel or video uh, or layout as their shout out. Now, it was a great shout out, to be honest. And I'm really impressed with uh, what I have actually been sent. So let's have a look at... Sandford East layout. Um, I'll bring it up on the screen for you now. Here we go. So, Sandford East layout. This is a uh, layout by uh, Richard Keep, and that is his actual channel name. Um, if my one of my moderators would kindly try and share the link again to that channel, it would be highly appreciated. Um, and Richard sent some photographs of his layout for us to, to display. He does have a YouTube channel, so please do go and check it out um, when the link is available. And do subscribe. It will be appreciated of Richard. He is here in the chat tonight. I have seen him. Um, and he is open and available for any questions that you may have 
uh, in regards to his layout. So uh, please um, drop into the chat with a hello to everybody, please, Richard. Uh, let us know that you're still with us and uh, be prepared to be bombarded with some maybe some questions. So, yes, looking at the layouts, we've got some fantastic features uh, on this layout. It's very well scenic, which is something I'm really, really loving um, with model railways at the moment, as you know. The track work is absolutely superbly weathered, um, but it, there is a particular picture, which I'll show in a moment, that is my all-time favourite. Now, I'm hoping I've got the pictures in the right order. Uh, so, as you can see, you've got uh, uh, a, a Gronk there with some brake vans. And I think that's a 25, is it? Um, or is it a 33? I'm not 100. I can't quite see it. With a 47 behind with a tanker. Um, great scenic area. And... Um, yeah, well done. Well done, Richard, on this. And thank you very much, Richard, for sending this over. It's uh, very appreciated of you. Um, so if you've any, got any, anyone's got any questions in relation to his layout, please do fire them away to Richard. I'm sure he'll appreciate uh, answering any questions you may have for him. So we'll flick through the there. And so this is probably... Uh, this is one of the, my favourite parts of the layout in these pictures that you see. And that's how he has actually dropped a section of the layout uh, there to feature that canal scene. Now, I do believe, and I'm sure Richard will correct me if I'm wrong, it looks like he's used Woodland Scenic's deep, poor, murky there for the canal. because Most canals are quite murky, especially in an industrial or city scene. And that looks absolutely amazing. I really do like it. Um, we've got the towpath to either side, a couple of people there watching a barge go past. Definitely, definitely um, superbly detailed. Um, so keeping through. and Oh, it says Class 33. There we go. We've got a close-up on the fueling point. And we've got a British Rail um, a road railer there. That's what we can say. It's a uh, Land Rover as well. All nicely weathered up, nice and dirty, as you would expect to see. And uh, 08644 Gronk in the background as well. Lovely stuff. Fantastic. And that is the Batman scene craft fueling points as well. I can see there. So, yeah, definitely a superb layout. The detail, that that's a very good scene. I do like the, uh, the, the filthiness of the cabins, the nice detailing of the walk, the uh, wooden walkway up to the cabins. And uh, it looks like the uh, Gronk driver is... Uh, Calling across to the guy over on the um, cabins there, just sort of having a quick chat. Nice detailing with the um, trunking and also the static grasses, a few bushes there, just to give it a bit of added detail. Absolutely superb. And that's something I don't, I've not really done myself either. Is leave some uh, sleepers and that around on the layout. Something I'm, I, I must get to do at some point. So yeah, nice little added detail. Superb wide angle shot there of the layout. Um, with a nice steamer, nice kettle uh, going from right to left and 37 from left to right. With the, also the obviously the locos in the background on the stabling yard. Fantastic. And obviously you can see the canal uh, as it comes to the edge of the baseboard. Very, very well detailed. Absolutely superb. Love it loads. Um, so we'll keep moving on. And there's an even that that's uh, even down to the detail of in the in the canal. He's even got some trash. Looks like there's a road sign of something that's been dumped into the canal. Bit of weeding um, in the, the water as well. A nicely detailed um, metalwork over the girder over the the canal. That's really nice. I do like that uh, effect. And uh, it's, yeah, it's very nicely weathered as well. So superb stuff. Um, so there we go. Thank you very much. Uh, just only a, a few photographs that he sent over. It's so superb stuff. That is Sanford East. Um, I'll give you some information on the layout. Um, it's uh, based in the southwest of England in the late 80s and early 90s with a bit of modeler's license. I've been building this layout over the last seven months and I'm starting on the fire stage, which is the station and town area, including a bridge to the south entrance of the fiddle yard. So there we go, fantastic stuff. Go check it out. The channel name, I think, is Richard Keep. 
K-E-E-P. So please do go check it out. I'm sure you will not be disappointed. So there we go. Thank you very much. Now um, I'm just going to switch camera again because I need to uh, show you something else that I want to talk about. And I can't remember which camera it is now. It's that one. Bringing me back on the screen. So, yes, thank you very much, Richard, for sending that over. Please do go check out um, his channel. I'm sure you'll all appreciate uh, enjoying viewing the channel. Uh, I certainly have been doing over the past few weeks uh, since I've been made aware of it, thanks to the uh, shout out on the stream a couple of weeks ago. And there we go, Flymo uh, posting the links in for the channel. Superb stuff. Thank you very much. Let's have a look who is in the chat tonight. We've got 43 of you currently viewing. I'm scrolling back right to the beginning because I forgot. Uh, Clive. Uh, Clive did feature in a mod Models Moments. Uh, very first one, actually. Uh, Richard Derry was in the chat. David Cook. Um, Dimmore Junction. Good evening. Flymo in. Great to have you in, Flymo. Helping out again. You know, great moderating skills. Um... New Dillon Junction, he's in. Um, if you haven't seen, New Dillon Junction was at, went to York yesterday, and he did actually feature on the York cams, uh, rail cams. Uh, Crossways Point Junction's in. Bernie, go check Bernie's channel out. He definitely would like to uh, appreciate a few more subscribers. Hopefully, try and get him up to 200. Um, who else have we got? Amtrak Junction Ray is in. Good evening to you. Andrew Sartorius is in. Angel Share. Brian, thank you for joining us this evening. Heritage Line, good evening to you. David Atkins from British Columbia, good evening to you. Thanks, March West Junction TMD is in. Stuart of Valley Brook is in. Hi, Brook and Model Rail is here. Um, uh, who else have we got? Um, scrolling through, everyone's chatting amongst each other. Langton Road, good evening to you. Thanks for dropping by. Dave Smith, good evening to you also. Simon of Train Model Railway Showcase is in, saying good evening. If it's all, if anything goes wrong tonight, we hashtag blame Simon. Don't forget that. Brian of Finiston Central is in. Digger Evans is in. Good evening, Digger. Hope you are well, my friend. Um, who else have we got in? I'm scrolling. Effingham's in. Good evening to you. Thanks for joining us. Main Train Esports. Welcome, Mark. Thanks for dropping by. Um, Alan Reynolds. Thank you for dropping in. Wow, you are. I've been chatting away. Um, taking a while to catch up. Arthur Humphreys. Good evening to you. Thanks for dropping by. Um, everyone's chatting away with Richard regarding the layout. Superb stuff. Timber Surf. Good evening to you. Thanks, Tim, for dropping in. Uh, who else have we got? Hillbilly Railroad, thank you for dropping by also. Thank you. I hope you're going to be enjoying the stream tonight. Flint Hills, Jeff, good evening. Thanks for dropping by. Matthew Whitmore is in. Thank you. Kevin of Shawbridge Junction is in. Good evening to you. Um, it's Miles from Finnish says, Timber, do it for 20 years. Um, who else have we got in to give a shout to? Banford Junction is in. Welcome to, also to Fred of Wilbury Castle. Fred's in the house. Fred the Shred. <laughs> Fred Shredding in the house. <laughs> um, don't need any more subs. I've hit my lifetime target of 1K, says Timber. Yes, you did. You hit 1,000 subscribers. Well done to you, Timber. Well worth. And uh, so yeah, Settle Carlisle 68. Good evening. And Humanity Junction's in. Just a quick hello. Have a great Tuesday. I will see you all around. Take care. Thanks for dropping. just dropping in. Now, has anybody got this... One's copy of Model Rail. Um, I grabbed myself a copy. Um, I don't usually buy magazines unless there's a reason. Uh, there was definitely a reason um, for this. Uh, Mark is in the chat, and he knows why I'm holding this up, probably. And maybe a few others of you are, too. So, um, I will find it for you. If you haven't got your copy, then go grab a copy, because Mark of main train eastport features in the magazine this month well done mark for featuring in the magazine and i have enjoyed reading this it's a great little insight into your background and uh, yeah congratulations and it does say at the end maybe we'll see more of main train eastport again in model l magazine coming very soon 
Uh, Amtrak says, uh, used to buy model rail, but stopped buying them. I've actually stopped buying magazines unless there is a reason. And Mark was the reason I bought it this month. So thank you, Mark. I've got, I've, I used to buy them a lot, but I've got rid of them. And he only keeps special magazines that feature um, friends or uh, popular channels that I really do like reading about. So yeah, Mark, well done. Well done worth the achievement you've uh, done superbly so yeah go check out this month it is the may 2021 edition of model rail and there is i've, I've also uh, it's actually a benefit to myself because it's got a good seat good double page spread on this layout um what layout is it uh oh kinmel junction and reason why i kind of find it quite interesting is look at them rock faces there that stood out to me they look almost like mine almost like my rock face very very good so it just shows i actually did do a bad job um so yeah that was a good read also so yeah there we go right so let me grab the decoder let me grab the 68 now um we obviously we're doing plenty of shout outs for many many people and there's a, many of you in the chat and i'm going to select one person to choose the first shout out for today and i would like mark of main train eastport to choose a channel to give a shout out for from somebody that's here in the chat right now so mark when you have made your choice please make it known in the chat and my moderator, one of my moderators, will get their channel link and post it for you. And what I do, we'll have a discussion about it. But let's get on with this. Let's tilt the camera down. There we go. So going into this is the Class 68 ESU Lock Sound Version 5 sound decoder supplied um, by Roads and Rails. This, they are an official stockist of ESU sound decoders. This um, is the second one I've had from them. Obviously, the first one was uh, from for Sparky. And, uh, yeah, this is going into this little beauty. Now, it was really easy the first time round. Hopefully, it will be as easy the second time round also. So, just have a quick drink. Oh, and today's drink is I've got the pink hooch. Must be feeling good. I've got the pink hooch out. Mm. Lovely. It's a, it is cold, but it doesn't really need, need to be cold because it's absolutely freezing up here today. Yes, the temperatures have uh, dropped a little, and the loft has been quite cold over the past few days right so i'll just put that to one side just for now um so obviously we need to open now these are actually quite easy to get into um i'd say they're probably a little bit easier than uh, batman models because you don't need to undo any screws with this one um but what i have got is to assist me i've got some little medic metal credit card plates to aid me getting the uh the sides off um so there are little pinch points actually in the casing where you can get your fingers to just prise open as you can see there so you aren't struggling so all we've got to do and really what i should do and um, first of all is i'll get me cradle and um, so we don't cause any damage So have we had a oh, good evening, St. Mary's. Thanks for dropping it in. Good evening to Boulder Creek Yard, CSX Rensville. Good evening to you. Thanks for dropping in. Um, so, Mark, have you chosen a channel for a shout out? I'm just looking. Um, <laughs> secret, just looking um, in the chats. Uh, I stopped buying the top shelf mags. PS can, <laughs> can reach him now. <laughs> um, do it, don't do that. Uh, how's Boulder Creek saying? How's everyone doing? Uh, Jeff, I'm sub two. I'm hoping that get some diesel future. Uh, future. I'm thinking of Finiton. Um, I'm just looking to see if uh, it has actually been chosen yet. 
has main train cho east port have you chosen a channel there we go he's just chosen one alan reynolds al in the loft that's it i think that is his chosen channel so if my moderators would very kindly um please um uh, find that channel name so i'm going to use these just to very gently prize open the sides of the 68 without causing any damage now these do once they're free they literally do just slide off but with them being so delicate you have to be that just that little bit careful there we go that's got that one that's got that one that should it's going it's freeing it's moving it is moving i can feel it moving let me see if i can just prize there we go it's just released there we go to hear it click that was it that was literally all it was just to release it so we just gin gingerly and then we can take them out and that is how easy it is to remove the body on one of these okay just took my camera up a little bit there we go so we're looking straight in here and we can straight away see that there's a nice big open space here ready for a speaker now this is actually got enough room in here for two speakers would you believe because you've got this space here but we only need to put in one speaker into this um one thing to be careful of is try not to switch change the switches um, when you're doing this uh, also the micro switch is there otherwise you'll affect the setup the current setup on this model now then we have put the decoder so we'll just move that to the front for this moment and let's get the decoder out of its box there we go there's a little sticker so you can put it on and simply that is your, the decoder with a mega base speaker pre-fitted so let's uh oh stuck to it right so let's place that in there to protect it let's put that away one side um and as i said this is very very simple now what i want to do is this this speaker is going to go over this area here i'll just bring the logo forward a little bit over this area here now the reason why i'm putting it here is because um i'm not sure if i'll be able to show you on the camera yes you can see that the the base of the locomotive is perforated yeah that is so sound can go out of it now if i put the speaker facing upwards yeah literally it would just be hitting the roof of the locomotive and be pretty much waste much wasted so what we're going to be doing is fitting the speaker facing downwards so the sound will go down through the locomotive and come out on the floor this also helps and gives a more of a bassy effect because it's going into a bit of a chamber now as you can see there are some brackets here these are in place to obviously keep the wiring in its current position but also um to fit a the fat the standard that pole factory speaker and uh, to keep it in place but well, obviously we don't need to be using that but what i do want is i want the wire to be underneath there so i've just got to re release this one side so just unscrewing that so I take that over, place that to one side, come back to that. That just gives us the, fr the freedom and space um, to work on. Um, everyone's chatting amongst, so um, I'll come back to the chat in a moment. So for next thing to do, obviously, to fit the decoder, we need to remove the current blanking plate. Now, 
many times these come off really easy and as I as it literally I've just pulled it off and off it's come so there's your blanket plate do not lose that because if you ever want to take this back to DCC ready you need one of those to put back so always best to keep these in a box together or even put it back into its original packaging uh, of the loco where you get it from now what I'm going to do before I touch that chip I'm going to actually earth my fingers um, so I need to touch something that's metal and connected to the electrics um, I'll touch the in fact I'll touch the track that'll um, earth me because I don't want any static charges from me um, affecting the chip. That is the biggest thing that damages chip chips uh, decoders is static. Right. So there is only one way round that this decoder can fit in, and it is that way. Um, you've got the pins. This is twenty one pin, and with this there is. Well, with a 21 pin, there's always one particular slot just here. In fact, I'll bring it up to the closer to the camera. One slot just here, which is missing. And that corresponds with the um, plate on the decoder. I'm not sure you'll be able to see this. Many of you probably already know. But you'll find that one particular end of that is blanked off that is the bit that goes in there it's just a way to stop you from putting the decoder in the wrong way round so without stretching the cables I'll just place that down there um, that goes on here we literally just place it on top now you can put some inf uh, tape or something underneath if you wish but I've uh, with the previous installation I know nothing gets in its way so literally I'm just placing them on the top uh, that little black wire is in the way placing that on the top i'm just giving it a gentle push down and that is now in always check make sure that the decoder is not contacting with any of the circuitry board underneath and i think yes we're all sweet and clear there no problem whatsoever and as I said, the speaker we're going to place here. Now, because this speaker is obviously not designed to go in for this particular model, if we leave it there like so, it's just going to rattle around. Now, for this, what I do, because of ease of requiring to get out, you can use some black tack, but I don't have, unfortunately, I don't have any black tack available uh, today. Um, but as I did with the with with many of me other locomotives, a little tiny bit of a removable glue. I just use the tiniest tiniest drop of this stuff. Ju it's just enough when it dries to hold any sound speaker in place and not affect the locomotive in any way. Um, so I'm thinking, right, put it up right up to that bracket would be a suitable location and um, as you see that uh, looks okay just there would a 2.7 watt speaker be too much on the soundboard of the chip set um i i wouldn't actually know um without checking out um the information from their website so um yeah, the, there is a link to their website, and if you just click on um, the sound decoder section, you will find all the information about each and every sound decoder that they do supply. Now, I did ask Richard if he would like to drop uh, join me tonight, but he says he's a bit uh, camera shy, and um, so he did. He, he wished everyone well, and uh, so thanks very much for doing this, but um, he did decline purely because he's a little bit camera shy. He's not done any, he's never been in front of the camera in any way, but not to worry. Um, I did ask him if he would like to be in the chat at some point. He says he will see what he can do. Um, so we'll just move that out of the way and just lift those up. And literally I'm just going to put a tiny bead like that on there. Try and get all the stringy glue. Try and not get it into anything. And on the other side, just enough to hold the speaker. Now, the reason why I'm using this 
is like as I said, it's what I would call a removable glue. If I used a super glue, it would be stuck, and if I wanted to remove it, it would damage the speaker. But with this, you don't get that issue. Just with a little bit of um, heavy ho, it will refree. You will be able to free it back off um, afterwards. So obviously, it does take a lot longer than super glue to dry, but with plenty of time because once the body's on there won't be any issues so that is where we want that speaker to go let's place that and we don't want no cables getting tied up in anything the glue will get tacky quite quickly so once it's tacky it will hold it in place and that is it that is the speaker on um, one thing I don't know is, is there a particular way around that this goes back on? Um, yes, because of the switches. So it goes back on that way. So that is the area of where the speaker would be. Obviously, there's no roof vents whatsoever um, for sound to go out that way. And that's why we put the speaker facing downwards. So it's simply, this is how, this is how simple it is. It's just simply now placing this body back on to the locomotive making sure obviously that the body is on correctly and the right way around and gently you'll hear it click there we go they're all clicked back in job done that is simple that is how easy it is to fit a sound decoder especially the road and rails one um into one of these and i can guarantee you um you won't get the full benefits of the audio on this because obviously the compression audio is compressed via live streaming so to see it for yourself you've got to, to, to really appreciate the sound quality of this you've really got to see it for yourself and what I'm going to do now is, obviously, this is going to be set on decoder address three. I'm going to plonk it on the trap. I'm going to change the camera, and we're going to have a look at how it sounds. All being well, it works. So there we go. Now, I know the layout is live. There we go. And I'll switch the camera. Hopefully, we'll get the right one. I think it's that one. Yes, there we go. So, there is the beast. Bring it a bit further along. Hopefully you can all see that. Uh, Jason, show all the fine beast I photoed yesterday. Um, I would do, uh, but I haven't got them available um, on the computer up here to show them. So, um, Apologies for that. Johnny Ortsey, thanks for dropping by. A um, new channel that uh, i come across after commenting on my video this week. Thank you, for, Johnny, for joining us this evening. Uh, and anybody else that I may have missed, Gary Lester, TMD, good evening to you. Thanks for dropping by. Um, right, so. Uh, I'm counting sheep, says to Brian, <laughs> or someone else's. <laughs> Speakers I have come come out of a failed motor right size and impedance eight ohms just wondered if the wattage be too high at the speaker end. um eight ohm speakers are they are the ones that have to go into tts anything more and you'll blow the decoders um right yo right i'm going to get me controller and we'll see if we've got some life in it As I said, as I've said, this was fresh out of the box, so it's not tested at all. So hopefully, it's moving. Take it the other way. Yeah. Oh, and lovely smooth control. That is on notch half. <laughs> Let's see if we get some lights. Have we got lights? 
yes, we've got lights. Uh, you can't really see them on the camera. Just, uh, I'm turning them on and off, actually. It helps if I have to leave them on, doesn't it? Uh, where's the button for lights? Are they on? Can't see from this angle. Yes, they are on. The Cyclops is on as well. We'll turn the direction. There we go. Just change direction. They are. You can see some lights now. So let's uh before we do oh thank you very much flymo he's just posted the link in for the the the, the decoda thank you very much for that um hello route seven hi S steve thanks for dropping in all the creek i love esau stuff the feature set is better than most of the other stuff we get over here in the us um lights camera action says jeff he indeed it is and we're going to get this sound flowing in a moment um it's time for shout out number two and i'm going to johnny johnry i think it's pronounced johnry johnry i'm going to choose um john ray um for shout out number two i'm um, purely because he has appeared here in the chat it is a brand new channel and i subscribed to him today um, he's over in the philippines a fantastic do modeling British railways, but he's over in the Philippines. And I subscribed to him today to show him some support because he's really is displaying some great rolling stock of very, very big layout. And um, he, I was only his third subscriber. So if everybody that's tuned in tonight subscribed, we could easily get him over 50 subscribers today. That would be an, an absolute milestone for John Ray um, for tonight. So thank you very much uh, for dropping in, John Ray. Please do go over and sub, uh, subscribe once the moderator does post the link and uh, check him out. I'm definitely, it's going to be worth. Um, it's definitely going to be a channel worth watching. A very good layout is in production. Um, in development and lots and lots of rolling stock, lots of scenic's going to be on it. He's um, really working hard on it. And uh, there's the wife, even and all, just popping in to warn you, as Jay won't notice, it has gone jet black outside and looks very much like it will thunder. Apologies if any connection lost due to bad weather. Thank you. Oh dear. Just, oh, oh, it is a bit dark out there, and it's not because it's going night time. So, yes, John Ray, if you are still here in the chat, um, if a uh, moderator could find the channel, that would be appreciated of you all. And that will leave us with one more shout out for later on in the day. And if Alan Reynolds is here, still with us, I would like Alan to prepare choosing the third shout out for tonight uh, apparently we've they've got hail in winsford stewart's just up the road from us yeah we had a bit of a, a torrential hail storm earlier on this afternoon so there must be another one on its way super stuff right shall we get this beast fired up who would like to have some sound? Right. Okay, here we go then. Um, I don't actually know the sound functions for this, but we'll give it a go. We'll just give them a whirl. Hopefully, number one should be engine start. That sounds good. I don't know what number two does. Oh, it's brake release. Number three, small short horn. Number four. Nice horn. Number five. Nothing stationary. 
six. Might be a. They might not be stationary ones. I do know there are quite a lot on here. I'm just going through them now until I find one. Oh, that did something then. Yeah, I can hear a click on that one. I don't know what that one is. I'll have to find the instruction sheet on the sound, sounds. That's 16. Sounds like fans. John Ray says it's 4 a.m. in the morning where he is right now. Some air release. Sounds like communications. I can hear hail on the roof of the loft right now. So you may hear some hail now over the microphone. So that was an air dump as well. Yes, it does have station announcements. I'm not sure if it's the same one. Let's try it again. No. Try it again just to check. So it's the same station announcement. That is on function 20. And the hail is really pounding the roof now, so hopefully you can still hear me and the loco. Um, eight is twenty-eight is mute. That's twenty-six. That's the driver's whistle. That's uncoupled couple. the airline attachments as well that's a, that sounds like the driver's door open and close yeah it opens when you oh, activate it and closes when you deactivate it yeah I like that one Ooh. Right, let's give it some juice. Uh, let's go that way. Bring it back. I can't take it down because all lines are currently blocked.
we've seen that um, they do. There are some functions that are obviously active when it's in motion. Bring it back. And then what I'll do is I'm going to switch camera. So there we go. So we'll take it through now. Take it through to the next camera. And then we can show what I've been getting up to as well. Absolutely love it. Got good volume on it, but not too loud. back now Alan Reynolds there he is so Alan uh, I hope you are well nice Jason I would still be taking the body off uh, uh, understandable was this relatively easy? It's just four little tiny plastic clips that hold the body down onto the, the, the chassis. Once you just get something uh, like a metal, small little plate or credit card, something like that, debit card, just to open those clips, the body literally will just slide off. Let's give it some juice. And there we go. Do like the braking as well. So let's bring it back. Am I going to get the Mark V coaches to go with the Class 68? I would love to have the Mark V coaches, coaches to go with the 68. Oh, it's just caught a cobweb. <laughs> it's just found a cobweb in, in, in the tin. I do admit the uh, the Mark Five coaches are of great value for, from the uh, pure scale for what you get. Um, but fortunately, uh, I haven't got any plans off to get them yet. But I know somebody who is getting them I might borrow them. <laughs> right, let's bring it back into shot now. There she is. So there we go. 
we will now power down the audio um, which is uh, breaks on and off with the sound Lovely, it sounds smooth sounding end to the train audio there. Lovely, jubbly. Right, so thank you very much on that. Uh, thanks for dropping by on that. Um, let's have a look. Um, we're on that camera. Okie dokie, excellent stuff. Um, what I'm going to do is get that. So I've got that ready. And what I'm going to show you now is the little bit of pro well quite a bit of progress actually that i've pr done this week um since i uh, felt better and uh, it's actually right in front of you you should be able to see it so if i just tilt the camera down this area now has been scenic it's not finished but it is very very closely finished this area here's um and you can see We've got lots of brambles, bushes. We've got the path in up to the barrel crossing. Um, I've temporarily put a bit of grass in here just to get rid of the brown base until I put the ballasting in. We've got the bridge in now on its supports. This is all fully um, weathered, uh, not weathered, um, grassed, ready for additional bushes and stuff. And it's going to tilt you right down so you can see that's as far as i've got with the overgrowth and uh, we're all the way up to the post underneath oh the camera's gone and dropped off on me uh, so we'll bring the camera back on just give me a moment sorry about that that's what happens when you uh, <laughs> mess about with cameras when it decides to come back on um, in the meantime i'll switch over to this one um if it'll let me where's my camera's gone now come on have I got the right camera? Uh, which is the right camera? I don't know which is which camera now. Um, oh dear, we've lost cameras. Bear with me. That's a first. Uh, I think they're coming back. I've just seen something flash up. Have we lost both of them? Yeah, we lost both. that one. Don't know why that's gone off, and that one has gone off. Yeah, right. So I'll have to bring the other one up then. Hopefully we have do have this camera. No, it would seem we have lost all cameras. Not sure what's going on. All cameras seem to. Uh, I wonder if it's something. I wonder if, I know how the lights have just flashed in here. Let me just see if it'll allow me to click start camera. Nope, it's not allowing me. Uh, oh well, we got something. Yay! Hello. Hey, the cameras are back. Something happened then. Might have been uh, to do with the weather. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we're back. Right, we'll try it again, shall we? Uh, which wire is it? It's that one. Just make sure I'm not pulling on that wire too much. Right, so we're going to try and tilt. It's gone again. Your browser lost connection to the camera. Make sure you have the right camera selected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me check something again. We've got an issue here with power. Something's work coming back. We'll be back in a moment. Please wait while we... <laughs> All right. They'll be back on in a moment. Um, what I can do, what I can do, just while we're waiting for those to come back on, I'll do this. This one will work. It's what it should do. It's the laptop camera. No, we must have an issue with electrics. So hopefully you can all still hear me. Um, wiggle it, Jason. So while we're waiting for the cameras to come back, um, obviously you can still hear me. And we'll have a look, read on what's going on in chat. I'll tell you what I'll do, actually. Uh, which one's which now? That's that one. If I do that... The fortunate thing about this is you can actually 
unplug and plug cameras back in and out while you even while you're live streaming unlike obs you can't do that oh i don't know why ah something's just happened i've just seen something happen yeah something's happening Ah, we've got audio back. Yay. Right, well, I think we had a power surge. Hey, and we've got cameras back. We had a power surge, I think, because I even lost internet. The whole thing had gone. <laughs> In the black cat. Right, let's see if we've got all cameras back. Yes. So I'm not going to mess with it now. <laughs> right. So, yeah. Um, and I'm trying to turn it now without it going off. Look, we've got a tree. I've had a go at doing a tree again using the static grass box. Um, so the first tree is now featuring on this area here. In fact, if I tilt that back, actually, you might see there is also if i can point there there is another tree there i've been playing about with trees using the uh, static grass box and yeah this area is i'm not going to go any further than that so this area is now progressing um fencing is now all the way up to the beam just under the camera and goes up to hit the crossing and then comes back down the opposite side goes under the footbridge and just stops by the beam on the opposite footbridge. If I just change the camera, so thank you for staying and sticking with us uh, while we had a loss of camera. So if I change that to that one, and if you see the tree there, I've also done the fencing, joined the top fence that was going along there as it stopped at the rock face, and joined it now with the bottom fence. That bottom fence used to come to there. But I decided uh, to take it back 
and have it go up the rock side of the rock face and over the top to join there and that's going to be a lot of overgrownness on there yeah some apple yeah I, well i have got i'm going to there's going to be a, quite a bit of color going in and there is a tiny bit of color by the footbridge that i've added um as a trial um but uh, more color will be going in and lots of um flowers and stuff will be going in buddlier that etc etc <laughs> Uh, everyone's normal service will be resumed soon uh, and hey well hang on a minute are we not forgetting something something's gone wrong didn't we? something went wrong so we're missing something we need this hashtag blame simon everything goes wrong it's hashtag blame simon <laughs> oh so hopefully this will still work because I want to um, offer, open up, if anybody wants to join the stream tonight, they are welcome to. So if you want to join the stream, there's the link to drop in. And uh, I'll take a couple of viewers that want to drop by and uh, come and say hello and talk about their layout if they wish. Or just have a little general chit chat. Um, what other things have I been getting up to? Um, I've been looking at the point motors on the TMD as I've got several that I've now kind of seized due to lack of operation, really. So I'm going to be looking at replacing some of the point motors on the TMD. How do I do that? Um, Alan Reynolds, when you are ready. Um, in fact, yes, Alan Reynolds, when you're ready, if you have chosen the third shout out, for tonight please comment in <laughs> simon but can't blame me my internet is playing up now <laughs> uh crossway says got to join tonight as i've not done my hair oh dear it's a bad hair day is it uh how do you do that you click that link and you join it, it, if you do click the link and join the stream yard stream tonight make sure you mute your youtube itself um and listen to it via um, StreamYard itself. Hi, Jason. What a difficult choice. Flamo, I would like to put a shout out to St. Mary's Church Model Railway. Regards, Alan at Buckland Junction. There we go. Uh, will you send me an invite? The invite has been sent and it is in the chat. I will post it again for you, Charlie. Um, there it goes again. Uh, Brian says, sadly can't. Um, there is the link again. And we do have a modeler in the chat right now. And he is, and oh, we also got, uh, we've got two. Budlia, yes, there will be some Budlia. So we've got two down in the basement, three in the basement now. So I'm going to bring everybody in um, to the stream. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move my camera before i do everyone can see each other down in the basement so I'll give each other a wave guys <laughs> howard pomfat evening all sorry you're late no worries it, howard you're welcome to drop in at any point i'm just trying to find a place to place my camera so i can be talking to the camera um, while talking to you guys without affecting any cabling <laughs> we don't want to lose the stream again do we right so i'm just gonna move that and i'll put the mouse there right so good evening first of all um, oh first of all i need to change my camera don't i to me oh you need you don't want to see me really oh there we go move the camera uh, yeah it's firing up hello oh oh um what's that oh what's that there oh it's the layout was one of that black thing was so let's bring in we've got four three in the basement first of all we introduced to you um Amtrak Junction, Ray. Good evening, Ray. Hello, Jason. All right, how are you? Hope you're well, my friend. Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm not too bad indeed. And also in the basement area, we're going to bring in. And well, I won't bring him in yet, actually, because he'll just be silly. <laughs> he knows he's grinning, <laughs> so um, <laughs> he's waving his finger at me now. Uh, I'll bring in streamer number two, and it is Charlie. 
Good evening, all. I hope you're surviving the snowfall over there. Oh, crikey, Charlie. Yes, it's been quite terrible mm. the last few days. Uh, hail, thunder, lightning, lots and lots of rain mm. in between some nice, bright, sunny weather. Yet it's not very warm. Yeah, four seasons in one morning. That's pretty mm -hmm. much it. Yeah, we, ha we had a very, very dry April here in the UK, Charlie. But it's making up for it right now. Yeah, I just thought I'd let you see, and you've probably seen this before. That's my Triang Princess conversion to a turbo motive. Oh, right. Yes, I've seen you uh, talking about those on your videos. Yeah. So it's underway. It'll take a little bit of time. And uh, you may have seen the stave that I made. Yeah. There. Yes, I did see that. Courtesy Cold of yeah. uh, uh, the coffee store sticks, Starbucks. Oh, there it is. Right. And uh, I've shown you this before. This is the metallic glass gravel. Two dollars for that. Ooh. And then I crushed it up and put it into a plastic bag and hammered it a little bit to get right. to, uh, And that's uh, what you coal. made into the coal. Yeah. Excellent stuff. So uh, just in general, uh, I may have mentioned before that I'd removed the upper level on this side yes. and no, on no, that no. side. And that will give me the opportunity uh, to put another uh, track in there. But it's still mm -hmm. in the planning stages. Excellent. Uh, yeah. Let me bring in streamer number. Well, we won't say him streamer or modeler. We say uh, wannabe modeler. He might get something done one day. He's fiddling about with his camera. So when he's ready, I'll click out to the stream. But in the meantime, Ray, welcome to tonight. I'm Track Junction Ray. If you like your American locomotives, you like your American railway chat, then uh, Ray is a good channel to be joining in. Um, he's just starting off in the progression of his layout. It's coming along well. So, yeah, thanks for dropping by tonight, Ray. Yeah, thanks very much, Jason. Uh, I'm just in the process of um, putting the chat back down on my layout. Um, I've got a bit of grass on. Uh, I painted the, uh, the track where I beg Ray. And it's just ready to uh, get the track back on video for me. Saturday night um, live stream now. I've just noticed something actually here. We've got Ray, the yeah. model of American, HO yeah. American. And then we've got Charlie, who's over the pond, the yeah. model UK, because he's originally from the UK. <laughs> and Ray, where are you? The <laughs> switch of uh, modelling. Ray, where it's are you located? We're the total opposite in directions, me and Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> where are you located, Ray? Uh, I'm located in Birmingham in England. Oh, I thought you were in the States. Nah. That's what you I mean. He's an American, <laughs> American modeler here in the UK. And you're yeah. a UK modeler over there. Over yeah, the yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're not the only one, Charlie. I've had, um, I've had him... Saying, are you from the United States? I no, didn't think you were. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, the colours are nice on the flag. You know, I'll give you that. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Let's bring in the um, the annoying one of tonight's stream. Let's bring in Mister Not So Valley Brook himself. Hey, oh, hello, <laughs> Here's me following you with the TPE. And you didn't send over the lock sound chip. What are you supposed to do? You need to buy one first. <laughs> oh, right, that is it. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Mates and all that, what you know what I mean? Terrible. What, what, no, was, you having, what was you having a fun <laughs> moment? <laughs> oh, he's, 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 he's getting it, it's love for life out now. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking if there is available, I'm going to, if Richard is watching, um, is it Richard from Locks Out from Rolls and Rail? Yeah. It is Richard, isn't it? Yeah, Richard Croft. Has he done a Class 70 sound file yet? Oh, I don't know, actually. Um, I know there so, is sound, Class 70 sound files out there. Yeah, so I'll have to put that across to him, see if he can do Because obviously, 
people know that I don't like these things, but obviously with this being a gift, I can't he uh, does break like it. Them, really. I don't. They're horrible. Yeah, he's in love with them, and really. That's one, that's one thing as well. If people don't know, when all this kicked off with the class 70s, etc., um, I've actually got a cab ride in a class 70. Probably. I can't do it yet. <laughs> so we'll see what happens on that. Um, but yeah, I'm actually in Valley Brook as well, if you noticed. Uh, yeah, it's just not trying to point your full screen so everyone can look and shop. <laughs> Everyone's just fell <laughs> off the chair. Uh, I was saying in the chat before, I know he didn't think it, but this is actually, this Valley Brook and this modern thing is actually in me off. Because every time I get in here, I get angry with it and I put my hand after it, so I want to contemplate to give it up, but I don't know. It's, the best thing you do is clean the place up first. Well, do you know, I can try. You can, yeah, you can try, but after 10 minutes, it's a mess again. Um, Charlie, 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 uh, Charlie some, uh, Flymo says, metallic glass. What yes. is that? Yes, it's uh, it's described as metallic grass, sorry, metallic glass gravel. And I got it from the dollar store. Oh. Like, it looks like fish stones and a fish tank. I was going to say, it looks like um, fish tank stones. Yeah, it'd be very yeah. similar to that. And, uh, you know, there's, after painting and, and crushing a little yeah. bit. That was coal effect. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, because that's, yeah, that's what he's produced. <clears throat> Two dollars, right? Uh, so right. what was the root cause of your camera failure? Um, I don't know. We I, I even lost internet connection for a split second. Um, I lost a lot. I think it's the weather. It was, it was quite bad hail coming over from from our side, yeah. so it's coming it's coming from the west to the east. Because I, I lost get it all first. cameras, and then the microphone, and then the internet drops as well. Then the internet came back and uh, got the microphone back, and then slowly the cameras came back. <clears throat> to be honest, chap, it wasn't a bad thing, was it? You know, need a break. <laughs> I know that, uh, oh, he's got again. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, I'm oh, sorry. Drops off for no apparent oh. Sure, what if he's he done? Press that red button. <laughs> I, think I, I think I turned him off. Right, anybody I took over by the bottom of but yeah, um, he's got more technical problems. He's probably kicking the table now. <laughs> but as you can see, and if the only problem is because he's gone, he's lost control. That's better. That's better, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we can do this as well. Yeah, that's even better still. <clears throat> right. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Here we go. Great, having the power of the mute button. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you had to be gone then. I thought we were actually taking over YouTube Tuesday then. Yeah, I just removed myself. <laughs> yeah, Brian said, <laughs> this is time again. He thought he had actually gone, uh, gone. Yeah. Right. So yeah, so yeah, it's good to be back in here for a bit. Um also hopefully as well, if you catch our sister here, well his sister show, which is Facebook Friday. Oh, what's that? What did you see? Trains. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's gonna be another announcement, uh, hopefully, for MRYCG meet as well. I believe you're coming, are you on track? I am, yes. So it'll be great to see you in person. I know, I'm actually looking forward just to seeing people. Yeah, something we've not done for a yeah. long time. <laughs> yeah. And to let you in for a secret, I am baking a cake for everyone and I'm, all, I'm ordering a specially printed sheet to go on top of lighting, so it's going right. to be pretty Hold on there, you're baking a cake for, cake for everybody? Well, it, I'm making a cake of a size, I don't think it'll be big enough for everyone. <laughs> I've got to travel down. <laughs> I've got to travel down and... Um, I'll bake it the day before because obviously I don't think the hotel will let me bake a cake in their hotel room. Um, it quite quite good <laughs> if I could, <laughs> but yeah, it's, I'm doing something special. I've, just, I've ordered the cake tin. I think it's it's gonna be a squarish one, but hopefully whoever's gonna be there will get to taste my delights of cake. Well, you can give my piece away because we can't fly over there. I know. Yeah, yeah what's the that's right. Yeah. Still yeah. 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 Uh, Timber says, I'm toying with the idea of coming. Please do, Tim. 
you really miss out on a, on a great day. It's going to be lots of uh, competitions going on. Lots of uh, well-known modelers will be there, as well as obviously the members of Wally, the, the members of MRYCG. Um, there's also going to be lots of raffles going on, lots of prizes on offer uh, to be won. And a great opportunity just to basically sit down and have a cup of coffee and chat with each other face to face for a change. And, and, and just, and just on that, saying that, to face meet to me face, as well. Go on, me to meet uh, me. Big old man in, in number ten yesterday <laughs> made an announcement that it is ninety nine point nine percent certain that all social distancing will be abolished in the UK on the twenty first of June. Oh, that means we're going to have a big manly hug. Oh, there, good is, luck. Yeah. <laughs> there will be no requirement for any form of social distancing as of the 21st. Also, of I've got to pre-warn everybody, there will be, I think they are about scrapping the face masks, so for a lot of people, just be careful. Yeah. Yeah. Have a shave, Stuart. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In fact, Stuart, you can take your mask off now. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, terrible, terrible. It's a good job you're in my, you're in my social bubble. <laughs> yes, but yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be, gonna be good to get back into the things again. Um, and obviously, like I say, interact with people and we can do, we, you can have good banter and everything like that. And it's, it's just not I mean, it's brilliant. It's one, thing, one thing I have noticed over the past couple of, well, I'd say the past four or five weeks, there's a lot less live streaming going to on on this on YouTube or elsewhere these days because obviously social distances is relaxing a lot. A lot more people are going back to work, so a lot of the live streaming seems to be filtering out now. Um, yeah, back to how obviously it originally was, and obviously there'll, there'll be an uptake then in people doing actual videos instead of doing live streams, including myself because I've not done an actual layout update. An actual layout update for four months. Well, I started another uh, live uh, show with a, a friend of mine who is an yeah, expert the, in the car. Yeah, restoring Camaros. It yeah. is like like so interesting and very in depth. And hopefully, this week sometime he'll bring in one of his cars that he's already renovated it's in storage right now and get it to over to the garage so i'll get up and do a bit of filming there because he cool. buys these cars for i don't know 30 35 thousand dollars and then sells them for 80 or 100. wow a bit like the car chaser really. he's an american bug who goes around mm. buying old cars and garage barn finds and sells them on an auction yeah um your ninja friends in the chat <laughs> Hello, Ginger Ninja. <laughs> he likes he's, he's he's out. He, he's, he's he's great. I need to go and see him as soon as I hopefully July get out of the way. I can be out and about. So be warned, people of the UK modelers. I could turn up on your door, be like challenge Annika. So it'll be good. <laughs> uh, Finiston saying, who is here that is going to the meet then on the thirty first of July? That's from Brian at Finiston Central. Um, I think I am. You better be. Yeah, don't leave, don't leave me in the lurch again like you did in Wally. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey guys, so we'll catch you next time. Yeah, no worries. Okay, thanks okay, to you know. Charlie, take care of yourself. Stay safe. Stay well, mate, my friend. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah, the meet. I've I've got my hotel for the meet, so I'm I'm, not, I'm actually going to be there for two days. Uh, yes, I'm going to be there Friday, Saturday, going home Sunday. I know the event is just on Saturday, but I'm travelling down Friday for a special Facebook Friday live from the Wally Room. So you'll be seeing people set up because I think you're coming down early hours Saturday, aren't you, Jace? Ready? Yeah, of the, of the morning of the event. Yeah, I'll be there for the open door. Well, before open doors, obviously, to uh, speak with everybody and get ready to set up. I think we're going to have to get a ribbon, I think. That'll be good. That's not, first, yeah, that's not a bad idea, actually. Five the ribbons. The official 2021 actual meet we can actually Five get ribbons. Ribbon. The colours of MRYCG. Yes, it will be, yeah. Five ribbons. All, all, all together. That's a good idea, guys. Nice. 
Hey, I've heard it here on YouTube Tuesday. I nearly said Thursday uh, Friday. Peter, what's the same oh, which hotel are you booked into, Stu? Uh, it's the Premier Inn on just off the M5. I can't remember the name, but Andy Hudson knows which one it is. Right, so you know um, which one to ring up and now cancel. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've got breakfast as well. Obviously, you can't go down without a decent breakfast. It's good, Premier Inn good good because breakfast is. Uh, so, obviously, and then obviously, like I said, I am planning to, like, if people are staying behind for a few hours or so, or if they are staying over, I think not about going to the local pub, public house for a tipple. Um, then it'd be quite quite good. Uh, I know Amtrak's only local, so I don't know how far he is away from the club. Uh, I live in Sully Oaks, which is about, um, if I was in the car, it's only about half an hour to drive it there. Right. Oh, that's um, not bad, then. Not bad. It's 50 uh, minutes away. But if I'm coming on the train, uh, probably take me about an hour, max. <laughs> yeah, it's after, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's an hour, hour and ten minutes by train from Winsford because it's just a direct train to get to Liverpool to Birmingham New Street, and then uh, just get off at um, Sadwell and Dudley. Yeah, get off at, uh, and then obviously then it's just a that's fifteen minute walk to the hotel. Yeah, just remember to get off at Sam, Sandwell. <laughs> yeah, I just, I, I'll probably stay. I don't think I'm going Wally. I know what am I doing in New Street? <laughs> uh, Simon. <laughs> Simon uh, says he is 100% confirmed in coming to the event. It'll be great. It's going to be great to no, uh, meet you again. Sure before, before Simon enters, we do a full pat down, an anti static uh, device, and make sure nothing goes wrong on that day when he turns up. Otherwise, if something goes dead on someone's layout, we just go, Simon! <laughs> yeah, blame Simon. Hashtags, blame yeah. Simon. Uh, Brian says he still doesn't know if he's coming. He did. He, I know he did say he's working. So uh, hopefully he yeah. can. But, uh, uh, I, think, I believe Dave, Dave Spires of David Train Time is his birthday today, and I think he's coming as well. Oh, is his birthday today? Oh, if he is tuned in, unless in happy birthday, many happy returns, David. And uh, Gary yeah. says he's looking forward to it. Yeah, and also as well, Sam. <laughs> Obviously, you had Sam of uh, WWS on two weeks ago. Uh, and obviously, we've got the competition on for the adults. And we've got Sam Martin and Tim Cooper of Scrapline Model Railway. Um, but obviously, Sam is representing... He's going to be representing Scale Model Scenery, not WW Scenics. So it's going to be WW Scenics versus Scale Model Scenery. We've all had the band. If you're not tuned in, go on to the MRY. Although Scale Model Scenery are going to be there as well themselves. Well... Yes, that wasn't supposed to be announced until Sam slipped up. Yeah, he did kind of slip <laughs> up. But it's although he slipped up, I don't know if it's actually been 100% confirmed yet. I think it's about 90% confirmed. Yeah, it just obviously because we've just did his move down south and gone down Cornwall Way. It's just obviously a bit more of a trek. But it depends whether Justin comes himself, whether he might send Dylan and Ian uh, down uh, because obviously they're up north. But we'll see what happens. Hopefully, it should go on there. Uh, I will do. Um, I will do uh, Ginger Ninja, or we could top a tail if you like, and put you in my suit box. Um, but then we can sort it out. And I think. I think David wants another curry night when we went down. <laughs> that was hilarious. Uh, Fly um, asking, uh, is there any good stopovers? At Premier Inns, yeah. There's one right round the corner, just yeah. round the corner. It's one Stuart stopping up. Yeah, I'll post if anybody's in the MRYCG group. I'll post the details in there, the nearest Premier Inn, and then we can get something. Now. I'll put it in the event uh, group, actually. Yeah, put it in the event uh, posting on the group. That would yeah. be great. To do it. So if great. anyone's, uh, any MRYCG is out there that still don't know about the event, um, it is a big, obviously, um, members meet, the first one of 2021. In fact, probably the first one since February 2020. So it's yes, well it was like 18 of months, 18 months. Uh, and it's taking place on the 31st of July and it's being held courtesy of the great gang over at the Wall in Model Railway Club. They are, they came to us offering us their, their location and their services to hold a members meet there. So yeah, great thing. It is free to and enter. All you've got to do is when you do get to the door, you will be asked to, um, if you're a Wally member, you obviously get straight in. No questions asked. Show your badge and you're in. Okay, your badge. If you're not a Wally member, you need to show that you're an MRYCG Facebook group member. So all you do is you show yourself as a member within the group on a mobile device. That is simple as that. 
and there will be some little tiny extra special things taking place that have not yet been announced but soon to be yeah like jason says if, in, if people are watching on this because obviously it is on youtube and it's open to anybody if you're not an myCG member but you are a wally club member you can still come all you have to do is just show your badge uh, so anybody that's watching that's not an MRYCG member but still wants to come because it's open to Wally and MRYCG, we know I mean we can't just turn around and say no one's coming in, the other is Wally's uh, space. But if you want to be part of us, then head on to, to MRYCG.com uh, or forward you to the Facebook group and you just answer three little questions and then you're in. Uh, um, Finn and Flint Hill. Well, said it's uh, the Flymo did post the link for the group earlier, so thank you very much, Flymo. Uh, yeah, Jeff says it's 31st of July, it's his birthday, so he could have a birthday trip out and some cake. Yes, I could do a bit of cake just for him, just a slice. Uh, but yeah, it'd be pretty well. Uh, like I said, there'll be loads of laughs, loads of fun. Um, like I say, on restrictions, I think the time is 10 till 5. So it's going to be good. Uh, it should be, I, I can't wait. I just can't wait to see people. It's going to be ace. I think the main uh, event is obviously then, up from about 11. But every, the doors open at 10. Yeah. But it's also on uh, Flymo. I've just had a few stopovers and events more recent times with my daughter and her partner helping out. I've had Premier in in mind. Good. Yes. Like I say, this one's just on, just off the M5. I can't remember which. I can't use my phone because I'm on it. But like I say, I'll put the details in the MRYCG event for those people who are asking about the thingy. It's quite cheap as well, to be honest, because I booked two nights, including breakfast. So that's Friday night and Saturday night. With breakfast at eighty four pound, that's for the single person. So obviously, without the breakfast, I think it's about sixty three pound. Obviously, charge about twelve things. Uh, you can bring oh, a friend. You uh, can obviously bring, you can not bring, a bus full. You can bring a friend as long as you get them to join the group. Mm -hmm. um, but if they are a family, as in son, child, wife, partner, husband, wife, whatever, if they are your your family you are bring them but we highly recommend if you've got children bring them with you also it's not just for the adults yeah. it is also for all the juniors and if any of you juniors out there want to get involved in a competition the moicg juniors and wally juniors are holding a diorama build competition and uh some fantastic prizes are going to be up on offer for the winner of that and the winner will also uh, have their diorama on display at the NEC in November. And uh, so, yeah, group stuff. There's two different categories. There's um, up to eight, is it up to 16 and then 16 to? Uh, 11 to 15, uh, no, up to 15 and 16 to 20. That's it. Yeah, so there's two categories. And obviously, this includes the MRYC juniors and the Wally juniors as well. So it's both clubs coming together. Mm -hmm. We've had some fantastic entries um, come in for what we've seen. Uh, I've seen the prize. Some of the prizes have been donated. Uh, obviously, the ones that have been announced from home B are some coaches and wagons. There is more to be announced. Uh, a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> a lot and more. Some, some big prizes <laughs> as well. Yeah. Yeah, but if you, like I say, if you do want to catch up with things, obviously you can check out the Facebook Friday. I will be starting earlier this week from six. I'll be on from six, and then my guests will be joining me later on. So we're doing six to eight this Friday. Uh, Tim, if it'll be round, I know it's big, but you think you're amazed how many? It, 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 it's, yeah, it's quite. Does get you know what I mean? You, like if you if you mention in regards to the size of the Wally Club, it can hold um, 250 people at any one time. So yeah. I'm not expecting 250 people to turn up, but if you're on about the actual NEC, yes, that can hold thousands. Um, but I don't think we're expecting thousands, so we don't need the NEC. <laughs> it's the uh... It's a water show, so it's going ahead. Uh, As it stands, it is all go. But it will be confirmed over the following months. Yeah, well, it's it's talk, talking, talking about thousands. Relax. Talking about thousands, you need to tell some, tell us, tell us something. Two. Oh, right, yes, thousands. Um, just I know this has nothing to do with them. Actually, directly it's to do with MLYCG. But for all of you in the Facebook group. There will be a competition this Friday being done on the Facebook Friday show to commemorate the group 
surpassing 2,000 members on the in Facebook. So there will be a prize up for grabs, um, up for grabs on this week's Facebook Friday uh, with Stuart. Hopefully yep. I might be able to bob in myself for 10 minutes or so, but there will be a prize up for grabs um, for one lucky winner. Guaranteed to be no confetti cannons. <laughs> well, I'll hold the breath on that. <laughs> you do a lot. To be honest, if you if you threw a can of confetti, confetti cannon in here, it still won't make it look messy. You can't make a mess look a mess. No, just make it pretty. <laughs> by my face. Uh, good evening. Uh, Jeff has actually just dropped in the house. Um, Double lane. Thanks for uh, the party, uh, what I am here. Yes, and Jeff obviously will be there at the uh, meet as well. So it'll be fantastic. So have you seen, has anyone seen his new uh, memorial uh, print for his memorial yes, statue? Yes, love them, love them. Uh, Simon says, so sure there's some good cheap prices for the Premier at the moment. Booked a hotel in Glasgow in August. Five nights, cost 150 quid in the city centre of Glasgow. Wow, that's all right for a city centre job. Yeah, well, they're going to be climbing people in. Uh, Flymo's just realised he was two minutes behind on the chat. <laughs> um says when will the tickets be going on sale i think they'll go on sale once 21st of june is passed yeah um and not well, obviously don't forget if anyone who bought a ticket for last year when the virtual event was on their tickets are still honored they're still honored yeah still valid <sighs> what if we all turn up woohoo prizes says digger uh i need to devise a question so i can have 1k subs competition suggestions welcome um mm. who's this it's timber timber mm. i know i've asked him questions in the past so i can't really say that oh I'll, I'll have a thing and get to you tim i'm on about 670 i keep going up and down about it won't go past 670 it goes up and then down again but mind no. you no. it just gets dust on it it's got it's 670 nice. grams of dust youtube's <laughs> been a bit weird recently there's been a lot of uh I say not much activity taking place on YouTube regarding subscriber numbers for anybody. And they have I've made noticed, an announcement saying there is yeah. a problem. I've noticed Dean Park uh, has been dropping subs because most of them has been realising have been bots. Um, and YouTube are going through there. So I think in one day he drops about 40 subs because he's been deactivating old accounts that have just yeah, been I, sat I, there. Lost, I lost 15 myself. Just last, not uh, uh, third, about Thursday last week, I lost fifteen in in the in one day, and it's literally they all disappeared at the same time. I watched my count just go <laughs> dive instantly. So yeah, YouTube are playing playing around, um, and a lot of it is no one. This is something else actually for modelers out there. YouTube Shorts. Pardon, but I'm not wearing shorts. Yeah. YouTube Shorts, YouTube hashtag Shorts. It's the new feature currently in beta mode by YouTube, and that is taking a lot of the activity on YouTube at the moment. It's currently in beta mode in India and the US of A, or in parts of the US of A. It's not available here yet, but there is a back door. If you put in your video description, in the video title and in the description, hashtag shorts, it will feature in the YouTube shorts. It will be picked up. So is it kind of like a TikTok and Snapchat of YouTube? It is their challenge again, TikTok, yeah. And you can only yeah. post videos up to one minute long. It only takes a minute, girl. <laughs> it's not for you. <laughs> But yeah, so that's the last thing, uh, obviously, for me to mention. Then, yeah, YouTube Shorts, T check it out. You can do them. I had a little bit of a test with uh, one, a couple of them, uh, yeah, two couple of days ago, actually. And uh, yeah, it's uh, worth having a look into. If you're posting very short videos on your channel, um, up to a minute long, put in the dis the channel, the, in the video title, and in the channel, the video description hashtag shorts and it will be pulled into the youtube short, shorts beta program the back also door. as well i've not long just become a tiktok if anybody knows what this tiktok thing is yeah, I'm, yeah. i've got another name for that and it begins with sh but never mind 
<laughs> but to be honest with you, there's quite a lot of model railways on there. I've seen quite a lot of model railway stuff and real real people have been sat there watching everything. I'm quite surprised you can what yeah. you can fit on. You know what I mean, I've seen a few on that, there. And one it's of quite the good. YouTube are challenging. It's uh, they want to want to uh, fight back with it i think so yeah look out for youtube shorts they will be interesting especially if you uh, stood at a railway station you just say oh there's a train mm. take a quick video of it youtube short post it on your channel that's it yeah there's quite a lot coming out as well and also yeah. as well um if anybody hasn't seen this today uh, and there's been another another train that's had a bit of paint on it as well uh the old br blue class 69 I saw that, yeah. Uh, if you want to see more of it, I will obviously feature it on Facebook Friday, but it, it seems at the moment they're throwing paint on any train at the moment, so I don't know what the fascination is with that. Ah, there is a lot of it, isn't there? Yeah. Mm. And I've been seeing as well, I've been, like I've been mentioning on my Facebook Friday about the Langola Railway, which has now been saved. Been saved, yeah. There's a, lot, <clears throat> there's a lot of money coming from nowhere for all these heritage lines we're going to keep getting mm. notifications that so and so will receive this much so, and so i'm thinking where's this money come from yeah well, Actually, it's great to see flymo's just put a comment there i've read about the bots recently advertising links some of them that's what we've been getting ray i'm damn you the loads of bot links posted in yeah. video it doesn't matter yeah. who you are what channel you've got how many subscribers you've got how popular your channel is everybody's been getting bot links on their videos um, if you have not seen it, there is these bot links. You need to go check your comments section out because these bot links actually can get round. Uh, well, they have been able to get round the um, held for review because they found a way round it. But YouTube, have, uh, this is another thing that YouTube have done. They've found a way to now clamp down on it. Uh, they've done an update uh, to clamp down yeah. on it. Um, but I've good. noticed, it, I was getting 10, 15 of them a day. I'm lucky if I get one a week now. So it's changed considerably. Mm. Definitely. Well, with mine, nice. uh, mine, mine's been all right so far. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had one, I found one at the, uh, on Sunday on a video mm. that was held for review that got mm. picked up. But that was it. That's all I've had for couple of weeks now and uh but before that i was getting absolutely loads yeah anyway. the, only, the, only, the only bot i get when i go on youtube you've got to log in and go who are you again <laughs> who are you <laughs> do you have, <laughs> a, do you have a layout <laughs> <laughs> who is right, this so <laughs> i'm going to bring the stream to an end then for tonight so thank you very much yep. ray for dropping by uh, yeah layout construction goes well and we'll keep an eye on the progress uh um please do go check out ray's channel um and sure you'll in, in thoroughly uh enjoy your subscriptions is a american train modeler and he does follow obviously amtrak in itself mm -hmm. it's his favorite and if you find the opportunity to bother following that one uh, there's not much content because there's not much activity on his layout but you can go check out some of the decent stuff that he did before this layout. Yeah, Valley Brook One. I wish I never yeah, got Valley rid of that one. That was that was oh, decent yeah. stuff. Yeah. Well, it was decent stuff because you built it. Exactly. So there we go. <laughs> we'll end it just there. So yeah. <laughs> it was it was the only layout that had more videos of running trains than Valley Brook Two. <laughs> It was actually. We had, a, we, had a ride, we had a ride on train on that one. Then, but I like that yeah. one. I just wish I never moved out with mums. That's it. So, Flymo, it, just shout out, repeat. Uh, he's putting links out for shout out, repeats. Thank you very much, Flymo. He's putting his uh, St. Mary's Church Model Railway channel. One of the shout out. I asked a question before, but you were too busy losing cameras. What is the cost of the Lockdown 68s? Oh, this particular one? Yes. This is available to buy from Roads and Rails, post including postage for £114.99p. Nice. Uh, just stable. get in touch with Richard Croft of Roads and Rails. He isn't actually an MRYCG member, so you can contact him directly. And, uh, yeah, £115. For a lock sound, it's got a JML file, I think, in it, if I remember rightly. Or JLM file, uh, JML thing, uh, sound file in it, which is absolutely incredible sound file. Um, 
that for a sound decoder is really really good value to be honest compared to some of the stuff that's out there on the market and obviously it comes with an upgraded speaker as well so you get a decent speaker with it yeah yeah um, so maybe, it's kind of like yeah. Being... obviously this doesn't show the full potential of that sound but that is loud yeah but like i say with the with the perforated um with the perforated bottom Thanks, yeah, the the sound out, yeah i'm putting it in that way around it acts as an echo chamber as well yeah and the best thing is on the other side where you said they have twin speakers it is a hole but it's not perfect oh, right, it's yeah. just a hole it's not perforated by that side right. so if you want if you want two rails and rails sell that. items for engage i believe they do i do yeah. believe they do uh do engage uh sound decoders and stuff so yeah go check out the website roadsandrails.com i think it is or is it dot code at uk um but if anybody wants to put a sugar if anyone does a different adaptive for sound and puts a sugar cube speaker in it be careful because where it actually is i don't know if you pointed out on your bit before there's actually the drive shaft for the actual axle in there so you can't go too yeah. deep because yeah. you've got the prop shaft and you don't mm -hmm. want to cause that to be any issues no, no. Right, well, so anyway, we'll end it just there. Thank you very much, Stu. Thank you very much, Ray, for dropping in. Okay. Um, yeah, thanks very much. So uh, I'll, I'll drop you down again, and we'll bring the show to an end. Bye Ta bye. Ta-ra! He's gone. Oh, good riddance. Goodbye. Anyway, thank you very much, obviously, for joining in to this week. Um, I hope you found that interesting and how easy it is to fit those uh, sound decoders from Rose and Rails into those sixty-eight. Highly recommend it. So easy and well worth it. The audio on it is amazing. And those, to be honest, comparing the DAPOL 68 to a Batman 66, the 68 by DAPOL is by, bar, by far the easiest loco out of the two to get into to definitely fit a decoder of any, any sort, whether it being just a standard DCC decoder or a sound decoder. So thank you very much. I hope you've also <coughs> uh, taken note of the, uh, the links and the shout outs. Also, again, well done to Mark of uh, Main Train Eastport for getting into the Model Rail magazine and also to all my channel members. Um, it's great to have your support as always. Do appreciate it, but there will be some, um, some coming specialty for you channel members very soon. I will be in touch with all of you at some point over the next few weeks to let you know what is going to be going on so thank you all thank you again to flymo and everybody else that's been in as moderators tonight thank you very much indeed um again if you want to feature in modelers moment um on the stream please get in touch with me via email to barnabasjunction at gmail.com all you need to do is send me over a selection of photographs and a small two-line sentence description about what you're modeling and what your layout's all about. And just maybe a little bit of a description of yourself and why you, how you got into the hobby. So thank you very much, everybody, for dropping by. This is pretty much all of it is for tonight. Um, I will be bobbing off now. So thank you again. Take care. Remember, stay safe, stay well. And best of all, keep on modeling. We'll see you very soon. Take care. See you next week.